basically, I was good friends with his cousin, Ruben. And Rich was always cool. I mean, he had like long hair, he was in a band. And uh, me and Ruben, we had kind of like, I wouldn't say a falling out, but I guess after high school, he kind of went his way, you know, and I went my way, and we all did. So like, fast forward maybe about 10 years later, I'm working at James Logan High School as a custodian. And uh, one day, there's this, there's this guy, and they, they hired like a new guy. And I turn and I look, and it's Rich. And I'm like, yo, Rich, what's up, bro? Is that you? And he looks at me and he's like, oh, shit, what up, Alan? So, like, ever since then, like, we became friends again. You know, because, like, in high school, we weren't really, like, good friends. You know, I would only just say hello to him and what's up and stuff like that. And he was always one year younger than me. So, you know, back then, you didn't kick it with someone younger. But as I got older and then, like, you know, I, I became friends with him. He's actually a pretty cool dude, you know what I mean? Well, basically after that, we were fucking around at our job and shit like that, you know, like, and I was permanent already, so I oh, was no. kind of like already safe, and he wasn't. So shit but happened. He, he'd bring out like his knife. No, front, bro, at school? Front, yeah, in front of like, well, not, luckily not in front of the kids, but in front of like other custodians. Expose himself like that. He was just, you know, something like, you know, he always has it on him, kind of like a protection thing and stuff, so, you know, but it was just the fact that he was showing people. He was getting a bad rap on him, man. He was oh. getting a bad rap. I remember one time. No. He's driving the yellow car. Oh, no. And he fucking crashes. It's yellow. He crashes the car into the curb. Was he on the volume? I don't know. <laughs> but he calls me up, man, and I'm working with him that day. Like, I was in no. charge of him. So basically, I had to call up two of the homies, and we had to lift the cart up. No. We had to lift the cart. It was and after that, like, Jacob, the, the boss, he was always like, hey, guys, uh, if anybody knows what happened to this cart, man. You better uh, speak up speak now. Speak up on it, because if we find out who did it, you know. And so we all kept our mouth shut. Like, we never said nothing about that. But and you all knew. But yeah, but we all knew because then we like Rich. I mean, he's a good guy. Like, you know what I mean? It's just that basically, in a way, we kind of dig our own graves. Final straw. Oh, God damn. Was we were at the school working and he went into his truck to take a nap. No, on the clock? <laughs> on the clock, right? And, um,. Listen, I'm going to admit, I was already kind of pissed off at him that day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt like he uh, wasn't... <laughs> you were the bird that chirped. He wasn't fucking helping me, like, do no mopping he or anything. He was pulling no gum off them desks. Yeah, so I was kind of pissed off. So I seen the boss roll in, right? Oh, you're like, and he's I, in his car. I didn't tell on him, but I also didn't tell Rich, hey, the boss is here. So then the boss asked me, he's like, hey, where's Richard at? And I was like, well, I think he just went to his car real quick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so next thing you know, he goes, look, Rich is fucking passed out oh, in his truck. Oh, the volume. He's all just passed out, and uh, that was the last straw, That was man. a wrap. That was the, the last straw, The pink slip straw, came dude. in the mail. Or but did, they, know, did yeah, they fire him personally? They or? fired him right there, man, on the spot. And, How did that uh, go down? He just basically just said, hey, you're not working now. I'm sorry. Just and the, the, you know, like a month later, I left too because that job, you know, I mean, it was cool, but it wasn't like. Which wasn't there no more. Nah, yeah, exactly. Afterwards, I was like, man, I, I lost a homie. So. You saw what they did. They could do that to you. Exactly. Exactly. So you're sticking your car too. Plus, man, that guy has a bachelor's degree. Yeah, you know, he needs to be doing something more, more appropriate with his own. With the dimension of his brain, right? I hear this. This one out. This one's called Living. You guys should learn to live by this. If you don't learn to live by it, that's fine too. L I V I N. If you ain't L I V I N, you're D Y I N. And if you don't know the diff, then you're only maintaining. And the two? They ain't the same, my friends. L-I-V-I-N.
can never be spelled D-Y-I-N. Don't wait. Begin. Before life comes to an end. Some poetry, some original material. This one is called Autumn. Cover me fog. Don't let me go. I want to be held in your everlasting hold. Falling mist, autumn's kiss. What I wouldn't do to fulfill your every last wish. Autumn's kiss as nightfall descends. This one is called Gray Laden Sky. There was a gray laden sky. Down fell the rain, and you and I, we are those drops that make up the rain. We wandered aimlessly, with no point to being. Somewhat estranged, until we found our way. We made rivers and lakes. We all flow downstream. You were once isolated, ain't that a shame? because we're reunited now on this cyclic journey. Now we float on the ocean with purpose and meaning. We're all one, we're all humanity. I wanna die with you. I, I wanna lie with you. I can't survive without you because I'm alive for you. Gothic girl, pale in every sense. Dark intent, my vampiris. Lavender lips, seductive kiss. What I wouldn't do to fulfill your every wish. Clad in black, dressed in mystery. I can't hide from what I can't see. Cause you've already cast your spell and I'm under your command. I'm charmed, but you understand. I write for you. I'm wrong to but I write for you. There are no more than two things that I'd rather do than be all strung out. You see, things are good when things are gray. That's until you're coming down. And I fight these urges inside. And whenever it is I look into your eyes, I just tell myself, you, babe, deserve a better life. I don't think I learned my lesson, not until I turn cold. And in case if I never get to tell you, sorry, my love, I didn't mean to be such a fool. This one's called N-O-W, now. No opportunity wasted. You're living on borrowed time. There's no other way to let life slip on by. You can't run away and you cannot sleep. You cannot choose to not do it. You can't escape your destiny. You could run around the world and end up in the very same place because everything's relative in some way or shape. You can choose not to be awake. You can choose not to live your life. You can choose not to do it. Then again, it's not my life. You can choose to be here, present. You can choose to be your very best. We could live now, N-O-W, in the moment. After all, no one promised you your next breath. We could live now. You don't have to be afraid. To live this lifetime, I'd have it no other way. The kiss. Oh, I would kiss you with every ounce of my sentient being. Oh, how I would kiss you for all the times you've been upset. I would kiss you deeper for all the pain ever experienced. I would kiss you passionately for all the times you've been taken for granted. I'd kiss you this moment because there's no other way for me to express these inexplicable feelings another way. Take this kiss and its essence. I would kiss you and kiss you and kiss you. Not to mention, I'd kiss you, my doll. I'd kiss you for all the right reasons, and at the same time, I'd kiss you for no reason at all. I always wanted you. I always wanted you. 
And you never wanted to. I always wanted to. And you'd never see it through. I always loved you, though you never knew. I always thought you knew, though you never knew. Now what's left of me? I'll never truly be all that I want for me, and I can't let it be. And now I don't know how to get along now. I don't know how to turn my life around. One day you'll come back to me. One day you will come back to me. One day you'll see. One day you'll come back to me. No regrets. When I was 17, it was a very good year. A very good year for the tears I've let and the blood I shed. I have no regrets. Fond memories, crisp and clear. How could I forget what I've done? Hell, we'll do it again. And when I was 21, and time drew near, and I entered what I thought was the winter of my years, the mad men and women prayed for my sins. Not long after, I should have died, and the last of my years living alone in the fog sat waiting for you, puffing cigars as I spoke to dawn. I've lost to liquor, chemicals, I lost all I love, and despite all I lost, I know I still won. I've gambled my life's best parts away, exactly what I wanted, because I can't stay. I have no regrets, but I know I did pay. Break my chains. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get to reading. I want to break my chains. Said I'm counting down the days. I'm gonna make my escape. I will. One of these days. Right about now, I'm stuck on lockdown. I'm gonna break free, but I don't know how. Right about now, I'm stuck on lockdown. I'm gonna break free, but I don't know how. I am shackled. I am shackled. Hands and feet. Hands and feet. But that doesn't stop me. That won't stop me. Victory's too sweet. Resign to a ball and chain. Doing hard time. Doing hard time for a mistake I made. For a mistake I made. Might make it off the farm. No way to deny. Might make it off the farm. No way to deny. This labor, this labor is enough to take your life. This labor is enough to take your life. So you go back and you best give it one more try. Give it one more try. Here I am, fucking turning 40. Six broken vertebrae later, falling out of trees and not giving a fuck. You know why? Because life is short. Live it. Love it. Enjoy it. Welcome back. Lucas Hubert Philippe. This one is titled Break My Chains. I want to break my chains. Set I'm counting down the days. Till I make my escape. I will one of these days. Right about now, stuck on lockdown. And I'll break free from this, but I don't know how. You see, I'm shackled, hands and feet, but that doesn't stop me. Victory is too sweet. Right about now, resigned to a ball and chain. 
doing hard time for a mistake I made. I might make it off the farm. There's no way to deny this work on this labor farm is enough to take your life. So go back and give it one more try. One of these days I'm gonna break my chains. I'm gonna make my escape. I will one of these days. Sir Lucas Hubert Philippe, just taking the time to smell the roses. <sighs> Beautiful. Some of the best flowers I smelled were from Vietnam, a couple from Africa, but I love me some American women. And I love me European women too. Let's get to the poem now. Black Rose. Going through withdrawal, trying not to call. Yeah, you sealed my fate, and I'd trade my life for one more taste. Black Rose, you're the one I chose. You are my favorite, all that I love and loathe. And I waited 10 long years, and without you, I forgot what pain is. But now I'm rolling on the floor, and I want to let it go. And I'm trying to pass time, but I can't get you off my mind. You are my fall. You are my demise, and I cannot walk out. God knows I tried. Princess of darkness, queen of macabre, you are the moonlight in my nights, and I need a fix. I need a hit, I suppose, that you could spare just one more dose. I love that twisted smile, because you're really sick taking pleasure in my pain because it gives you all your kicks. Said I can't take this and I want to quit. Can you help me find my exit? But before I go, you ought to know. I love you always more and more. And on my deathbed, Black Rose, you were the best. And I want your name to be my dying breath.